Good evening all. Welcome back. My name is King Amnor Commander Blackstar Lord Triple Wheat at your service. And today I'm going to be doing We're going to be engineering our little Type 10 of course, little Miss Buttercup. And we're going to go do the multi cannon we've got this um and we're going to be engineering her to uh, that one to be efficient and friend or foe healing when we get up to grade 5, if we can or grade 4, grade 5 depends if we get um, up to that high that level and what we can achieve out of it then I've got two multi cannons right now the rest of the bigger ones are, on the, are, are large on this one I think huge and I'm thinking we need to multi cannon that but I'm not quite sure if I'm making it efficient at the moment because have a look see Okay, this is the fire group. So we're going to have that one. That one there. We want that one to be friend or foe healing. Because then I can scrap this off here, right? And if I'm in a wing, I can just simply target somebody and fire those, right? These are all multi cannons. I like multi cannons, but these two I'm going to have to engineer differently. Instead of making them efficient, I think I might make them give them a bit more oomph <coughs> to them because they're lower power ones. Because I'm using 89% power, so we can have a bit of power to play around with. The only problem I see we have with them is the power distributor. Okay, calm, which is going to be annoying. Currently, we can jump 25.4 light years. You know, this is fully A rated. Um, uh, that is. Fully, yeah, it's really fully A-rated. Um, okay, we'll put the beacon on. Put the wing on, just in case we do wing up with somebody. Uh, excellent, lights on, flight assist on. Rotations on. Uh, free flights checks, report crimes against me. We've turned that on. Um, just in case somebody types that. The NPC decides to annoy me. Um, well, what lines will keep on? Come on. It's taking its time. Let's increase the brightness up to four. Let's see what that looks like. Um, display. Yep, yeah, okay. Lit. Perfect. Now, we've also got our drunk AIs as well. Now, we've got 11 jumps to go to this place. Hey, I'm not worried about that. We'll jump there, get it all done and dusted, and we'll go. Anyway, I hope everybody had a great New Year's. Um celebrations and all that and I hope everybody has a great 2018 so what I'm going as before we'll go down that path see we've got Cecil the drunk AI we're midnight running in the background I do have my own TeamSpeak server which I'm currently on so you may jump into that if you wish to talk to me um, other than that, I'm going to mute myself for a little... Why aren't you going in that? Uh, I don't know why I'm stuffing that up for. Did I get a fine? No. So, I'm going to mute myself. You all enjoy. Here he comes, like a walking distillery. Filthy old mollusk. Your 
Oh dear, it's gone all swell. Incoming class, star complete. Well done. Easy dash, easy key dash, six foot is a very common mean sequence star of over 608 million years. As you can see, it even the orange red light in comparison to other M class stars. This star is notable for having higher than average surface temperature. Your ship repeated. Very good.
Let me look. And the tail class dark image. Alpha 8, 5 sector, or oh, a dash H2 plane dash 16, but is the common mean sequence star that is just over 5 billion years old. It is an average example for such a star. Are you the farmer? An OG class star complete. The D minus 13-6060 that is the common mean sequence star of around 9 and half million years. As you can see, this emits the yellow white light. This button. There might be some good trading profits to be made in. Oh dear. An OG class star. It wasn't me. The D-Bus 34803 is a common mean sequence star that has been around for nearly 13 billion years. As you can see, it emits the yellow white light. Your ship is fuel.
Your ship is fuel. Your ship is fuel. Fuel is complete. Your ship is fuel. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Currently we're going to take Miss Buttercup to get her laser fixed up and make that a friend of her Healy Beam and then the two multi cannons we've got to get them fixed up. Do I hope you enjoy the um, game. And then we're going to go into a rest site and kill some things. <coughs> And Happy New Year. Why do my AI type is there anybody? What? Is there anybody there? Thank you. Uh, did you have a good New Year's? Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I do hope you like this little game. <coughs> I will be going into a has res once. I have engineered my laser and my two multi cannons. friendly drunk AI called Cecil. He's got he's in the background running in the background with midnight. Now I will have to turn off Cecil when 
I do any any um multi if I don't have a multi chrome but if I wing up with any I've got to turn him off because he tends to write things in chat. Occasionally he turns my whole system. Turns my compute my uh all the hood off and all that, but that's fun. Oh, okay, back to the three. Hope you three enjoyed your New Year's and Happy New Year. Did you get to see fireworks where you were or not? I did the filming of the fireworks here in Locksport, that's on my YouTube channel. If you haven't seen any fireworks you can see that one. I have to admit there wasn't that many people here at um I there's a lot of people here but New Year's Eve, I think everybody's stuck to their own houses, I think. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> anyway, um, so, but we had a lot of people in Locksport, which was good, a lot of families came down. <coughs> Today, I spent in the garden digging out garlic. I haven't had a chance to do that um, over Christmas time. I've still got uh, at least one more wheelbarrow of a load of, uh, of dirt to dig through. And then I've got one side of the house to do through. For tomorrow I'm going to have to buy some more cow poo. And mix it in with the dirt I've got and mix it into the um, sandstone creek. Because it's a really sandy soil I've got. But next, for this year, I'm going to get some tubs, right, plastic tubs, drill some holes into the t plastic tubs and then probably put a mesh down, something like that, then fill like a 10 inch tub, then fill that with really good stuff to do it. I, I just got rid of two more people, sorry. <laughs> but I probably don't want to hear about talking about garlic or anything like that. Well, if you want to chat about something, either jump into my team speak. Cool. I remember um, the year on the fireworks and one time in America, the New York one, where they had no wind and all the smoke just basically blocked all the fireworks. That was cool. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> now next year, next year I'm going to try to get closer to the water, I think, on the fireworks and try it so I can get the reflection of the water without people standing in the way. other ships so I could board the board the uh, wedding barge and kill everybody on it. That would be This one. When 
wonder what those are for. Hmm. Those dome looking weird things. Drink. See, that looks like a smiley thing, doesn't it? Almost like a smiley face, just need some eyes. Mm. Right here. Always makes my drink. the look we don't need to worry about me moving my head around here. Dun, 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 dun. Have I got anything here I can sell? No. Okay. Straight into the engineer. Beam lasers and we've only got one there. We've got these two on the fish. We're going to have to make this one efficient because it is a much, much bigger beam laser. So what have we got? Ah, uh, steady amount the uh, overcharged. Efficient, we've got a heat wave. I try to avoid doing that one. Let's keep doing level three till we get to grade five. And then force it to what we want. Oh, actually we've got plenty of those in nine. Let's bring more heat charges. Okay, we'll just you waste this one up. Got six of these we can use. Next hold on. Um uh, back up we'll just use up the six and then we if we have to we can use up other ones. But if it gives me the experimental effect then I might have to keep it. <laughs> now the reason why we want efficient here it's there's no negatives to it. You basically everything's reduced your power draw, your power distribute rate, your your damage per second is actually increased and of course your thermo loads down which you really want for a beam laser. Um, multi cannons, you don't really need that for a multi cannon. <coughs> but with this ship, <coughs> you do need it. Ah, everybody's going away for this, this is the boring parts. So, did you have a good New Year's Eve in um, Germany? Four more left here. Just want to try to get up to grade five. Would you like to hear about my favorite dress? Up to four now. What I want to do here. See, that's only got one. Okay, well, hang on to those. What else have we got four that we can possibly use? Uh, it's got two. Long range has got five. Light weight's got one of those. Let's use up these ones. Oh, 
Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm going to have to use up four of these, I think. Long range I'm getting at the moment. 89. We'll apply that we'll just for the fun of it because we can. I want to see how much. 33%, so four of those should do the job. So it could even just go long range. If we've got a fifth, if we're going to do it in grade five, maybe. But really, it doesn't affect the. See, long range could be a benefit. So. Mm. Ah. Ah. Just chatting with something. Ting, ting speak. See, the only thing in power draw has gone down to there. Oh god. Yeah, that's fair enough. You might as well get it done and paint it there. If me just chatting that background helps you out, then yeah. No problem. Okay. Um, currently, I'm pretty much right at the moment. Um, oh, wow, I could do that one. Uh, I might try this long-ranged, actually. What do you think? Efficient or long-ranged for this one? I've got the power to do it. Oh, no. Let's have a look. Um, how much power am I using? 90% power. still got 10% power, and I've got two more weapons to do. If I can get this all on the... Do decent damage and all that, then might be in the range really well. Mm. So, how much paperwork do you have to fill out for? Uh, is that for looking for a job or is that just for the flat contract? Or we can do a level... F okay, now, this is interesting. What do you think I should do? Do a long-range one, or efficient? Because currently, we're missing a 90% power. And I've still got two more weapons to do, but they won't chew up that much power. It's the power capacitor. is the one thing... I've got, I've got five of those I can do long-range. Or I can do nine, eight of those efficient. See, that's going to give me a thermal load bonus, damage per second bonus, a power draw bonus, and a power distributor bonus. But the long... I could go overcharged even. Uh, overcharged. Do Don't like the power distributor there. <laughs> um, so you can go for a short range fast, uh, short range blaster, which is... Don't like it too much. But the long range... So you can get maximum long range power, damage fall off. Ah, okay. Mass and power draw. No, I think I'll just go back to efficient. Because we're currently using 90%. So if I make it more efficient. Ah. That's annoying. I'm just trying to think which way the best way to go. You get more damage, but yeah. Uh, hmm. I think I might... What just happened there? What the hell? Winter is coming. How the hell did... My AI send winter is coming? Ay 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 Short ranged... I only lose that. I don't, I don't lose that much power. Mass is increased or possible decreased. No, no, I'll keep that for another one. I 
I'll give it a go. I'm not that slow. I've got five of these anyway, so let's see if it will give me the one I want. Oh, so I'm making this a friend of a Healy Beam, so. Give it the max range would be really awesome. Damage maxed out. Mass I don't really care about. And the power draw little as possible. Okay, it's gonna give me a special effect. Yeah, I'm, I've got two Healy's. I'm making this also a Healy. So, I'll be friend of for Healy, um, fixed, torrented, uh, not fixed, but torrented, you know what I mean. See, if we go here, those three, see that, I'm going to get rid of these two now, I don't need those anyhow. Because, these three are all going to be Healy weapons. These two are already Healy weapons, this one's going to be another Healy weapon. I've just been trying to figure out power draw at the moment on this thing. I don't, what was my jump range going to 25.3? I lost a little bit from jump range. Four more attempts. Actually, I'll probably do three. But I want. Ah, the reason why I want all torrent. These these ones torrented Healy Beans because it's the friend or foe Healy Beans. So they do. If I hit some of the friend, they're going to heal them up. So that's more, you know what I mean? And it's going to heal them faster and keep them alive longer. I'm making this more of a support ship than just an out. It's a killing ship already, but can't land on the blue. Land on the blue. No, you're supposed to land on the blue. Hmm. Could land on the blue. No, 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 no. It just wants to piss me around. Three more taps. One more attempt to try again. We've got two more attempts. If it gives me a good roll, I'm going to force it to do what I want. If it doesn't give me what I want. Oh, power draws went good. Please land on the blue. I always like to keep one free. Bugger, adjust that. Now, uh, excuse me. Um, see, that's crap, really, honestly. Unless you want to ship. <coughs> Overheat's crap. Thermal. That's still crap. See, that would be good if you got a nice hot ship and you like to fire that. That's it, that'd be even good against um, NPCs if you run a ship that's hot. Thermo shark. That's not too bad if you want to go down that pathway for giving them uh, both things. I like this one. Friend or foe beam modification upgrade. When the beam strikes a wingman's shield, its energy. Generating shield. There we go. Confirm. Apply that. Now I should have about. I hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. 
now. Oh, it's not too bad. We actually dropped down in power usage. Hey. And our jump range is still 25, which is not too bad for a fully A-rated big ass heavy <laughs> big ass ship like this. Anyway, let's have a look at what we gotta go to next. We're gonna go Dad Todd the Blaster McQueen. Why is he blacked out there? We'll go there, then back to the walls of Jonai, and then we'll go get, go kill some things. Now the reason I want three healy beams on this is because it's, if we're on a, if I'm on a wing, I want to be able to heal the person that takes damage, right? And the only way you could do that would be to disconnect, change weapon fire grips, and so forth. But since I'll turn that back on. Since, um, how many jumps we've got to go? Yeah, 12 jumps. Since, um, I can do all three is here at least, and one's a long range one with that, I can pretty much open fire at friend or foe with them, and I well, just basically push a button and it automatically does it for me. Um, I don't have to change fire grips, all I have to do is change targets. Or if a friend flies in between them, as long as I'm not using the multi cannons, they're going to be pretty much fine. They'll be healed. So, how's the job hunting going anyway? What type of work you're looking for? I don't want you to drink something and go down the wrong hole. It's going to take a while to get there. Actually, hold on, look at that. Bom, bom. Pretty much everything you can mold. <coughs> <laughs> you can uh, uh, engineer. I have engineered. Yeah, let's point defense. Where's the other one? Where, where are you? Oh. Uh, what was I looking for? Beam lights, Ah, oh, that's the one I think. Yeah. Info. <coughs> I'll have to see how it goes. Question is, what your skills? What skills do you have, and so forth? What do you like to look for? That's what you ask yourself. Ah, there you go. Good luck to you. I hope you find something. My philosophy to work in jobs is that if you like, if you like your job. No matter how bad or how good the pay is or the hours are, if you like it, it makes you happy, that's all that freaking matters. Nothing else. I'll live my life that way. I've walked from, walked away from jobs because they just the bosses were assholes, the pay was shit, and I didn't really like that. We're off on a sightseeing. Okay, we're off. After Tud. We're going to go see Todd now. To fix up our two multi cannons. Try to get them to grade 5. I'm not quite. I don't think I'll do them efficient because now I can 
So I've got 89% power, even though I've done that one with long range, and I've got still 25 light year jump range out. So we'll see how we go. That's true. I agree with that one. all four of you. I hope you all had a great one. Today I had to dig garlic out of the ground. That was fun. Couldn't go for a swim, that was too cold. Two, one, engage. See, this is the slow part, so you've got to jump from system to system. I know mean, you could get faster ship and then do it that way, but I prefer to use the ship on engineering. I took a sidewinder around to every engineer I could think of. I still have to get more garlic in that, but I've got like coming over to check the three washes I've got. And um, showed me how to use the next step of the th process of checking that. Seeing when they're ready to put part A and part B into them. Which is, should be interesting. Oh, that's too fast. Whee! I liked it. This really would make a fun exploration ship. The thing is, I'd want to see how it goes, like the cabin looks like, if you can actually get space legs. you be able to walk out of your seat and get, walk around the ship. Imagine, imagine the rave parties you could have in here. Tight tents, like you carry a lot of booze in it. Uh, maybe two. Uh, no. Excuse me, I the hiccups. Now, I'm just going to pretty much babble on about my day and what I've been doing. Unless you want specific things, you can jump onto my team speaking chat to me. Or if you're part of the wolf, yeah, part of the wolf squad and that, then we've got our own private team speak, which people chat on. It's a bit quiet tonight, maybe because it's Christmas time and New Year's and all that wonderful jazz. Um, 
I heard a lot of places in America that have been snowed under and in Canada as well. So I'm just going to pretty much babble on about what I want to do until I get to where I want to do, and then we just. Well, you can talk about anything or type in. Didn't know the AI had two eyes. Anyway. Hello, users. Hello, all five of you. Happy New Year and wonderful stuff. I hope you all have a great one. Oh, I got seven more jumps. So, if you want to chat about anything, you can join my team speak or put a comment in, in the comments there. But me, I'm just going to randomly talk about what I'd like to talk about. Um, yeah, today, Doug Garlic out. Yeah. I've made two videos, of course, which I'd go... Every morning I'd make a video of the lake and of the ocean. You can see that on my YouTube channel. Um, and there's a couple of reasons. There's a reason why I do it, a couple of other reasons why I don't get anything for it, money-wise or anything like that from YouTube. I don't have enough viewers. But that's neither here nor there. I do it because I want to share what um, we have here. Right, what, what, um, ah, oh, yeah, basically what I wake up to every day. Like the lake's only a minute walk away, the ocean's a five minute drive away. And I just want to show you the beauty that we have. And it's also for tourists as well. They can come here and see the. They can come see my videos and then they can come to Block Sport based on my videos or have a look at it and stuff like that. And fishermen. If you're a fisherman, you can see what the last weeks or months worth of weather's been like and you can make your mind up how you want to. If you want to come down here, if the weed's problem being too bad. And also, if I get, get a whale, I really want to get those. Um, but they're hard to come across the whales. I've got a seal, in, if you go through my YouTube videos, I've got a seal on the beach I did, I've got whale shots, I've got an eagle. I've got dolphins from the lake, which is fantastic, because they're only, they're, these dolphins, pot of dolphins, are only in two places in the world. They live here, and they also live in Melbourne, Port Phillip Bay. They're the only two places known for these dolphins to actually live. And I managed to get a couple of shots of them. They're hard to get. They're really hard to catch up. Because um, as soon as you, if you see them in one part of the lake, by the time you've got your camera, they've already basically passed you. <laughs> okay. I have got a good friend who lives on well above the hill, above the right above us, and occasionally he sees them. He gives me a call and says, "Run down the lake. You able to catch them?" And I get down the lake and I manage to catch them, which is rare thing indeed to do and also I've done other shots of other animals ones you can see in there five more jumps before I can go get my multi cannon done now with the multi cannons I've got 89 percent power now efficient even though everything on this ship except for this new one I got was long ranged was efficient, I was still chewing the power capacitor of the weapons, even though I had four pips into that. So the question I ask is this, do I make them efficient or do I make them something else? So I want to give them a special effect eventually, or whatever, whatever special effect land on the land on them, but do I try to make them long range, more power, um, more damage and stuff like that, or do I keep it efficient? make them faster fire, but there are smaller weapons though compared to the other ones. So I'm not going to have the size, I might end up making a bigger um, ammo capability of them. Oh cool. So I do that every day, I make my videos, go have some breakfast somewhere. Um, come home, put them online, it takes longer now to put them online and actually it does to upload them, <laughs> it used to be the other way around, because <laughs> before I got the NBN, 
I couldn't be able to do this live streaming. It would not work. It would just be terrible no matter how I tried it. Um, it just would be shocking. So I'm really happy now I can do live streaming. So if you want me to... I've got a couple other games I want to try doing live streaming with. Actually a lot of games. But if you want to be anything special and elite to live stream, um, subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know in the comments or send me a private message or jump onto my team speak and have a chat to me and um, tell me what you like to see and how you like to see it and stuff like that as long as it doesn't involve me blowing up too many times preferably not at all because I don't have much cash I've only got 300 million and this costs 25 million to revive <laughs> so if you want me to try anything or you want to wing up sometime be my guess we'll wing up if you want multi crew we can multi crew or you can do it in different ships do it in the type 10 um, pretty much any ship in the game if you want or if you want somebody just to keep the healy beams on you while you kill stuff in the has res so you don't have to worry about sharing too much of the profits away that's no problem I'll do that too I just put all my power into systems and leave two pips into weapons and just keep the hit beams on you. Occasionally I'll send out my fighter to guild things as well. Anyway, so then today after all that, hello users, hello for you. I hope you had a good Christmas and a wonderful New Year's and I hope you have a fantastic great 2018. Anyway, um, so after doing all that stuff, I then came home, put the videos online, done all that, done and dusted, just searched online, YouTube and Facebook and all those things. Um, and prepared the one information I wanted to have here on um, my computer for live streaming. So if i got a special thing I'm doing, I want to put that inf information up so people can look at my live channel, look at the information and say, okay, this is what it's doing. Now, I have not been here before. Wow. It's the first time for everything. I'm not filling up here though. <laughs> no way am I filling up. I'm surprised I normally scan every one of these. It's taking me a different way. We are off on a sightseeing. Yes, we are. I can recommend the bios on the second house. There might be aliens there. How about Jack? there without overheating and uh, basically dug garlic out of the ground half a couple of hours but that's fun now it's saying temperature critical wow ah one more jump won't worry about fuel too much I still think this makes with the, with the thing on the back it looks like something out of the 60s or 70s <laughs> cool down. Yeah, we want to do multi cannons. We want to give them extra power, extra ammo, and whatever special effect we can get on top, which would be good. And we can make it a grade 5. Even I'm in, lead in all three things, I still like to scan things. It's free credits. And especially if you're hunting after specific planets. 
and this is where I think they need to modify the um, like compartments a bit more on the ships where you can put more stuff into it. It's like, why put that's like one that has one thing in a big massive compartment? Well, I'll show you that when I get to the thing anyway. I'll show you my hollow me as well and what I'm trying to explain the theory behind my man is if I can. Um, you see, if you've got a compartment that's great, like a great four compartment, and you've got a great one in there, that's kind of you like you still got or you still got that three bit there that's left over. Right? You should be able to put, say, three grade ones into it. Or two grade twos or one grade two and, a, and two grade ones into it. Unless it's something that's got to poke out of the ship and stuff like that, they might be different. Um, cause, but then you're technically wasting a lot of space. We're almost there. Engineer this up and then we'll go back to Jonai and we'll kill some things. And if anybody wishes to wing up, I will have to mute well, actually, not mute. I have to disconnect my AI. I have to go down, find them, find the right wires, and just pull them out. Because he tends to insult people. Like, no, it's the, okay, it's, it's not there. They vanished after time, I think. But anyway, he tends to insult people. I don't like that. Oh, hello! Somebody's trying to dedict me. See, it felt the glitch this twice. It's not supposed to happen. Probably just a system. I think it's a Thargoid, but too far away from Thargoid. It's not in the right area. I don't think it's a system. It could be a system one trying to scan. Are they in war? Ah, uh, there's a civil... it could be. Done the rest than that. I really want to take this out exploring one day. Well, do I... that means I've got to be with my anaconda again. Ah. Bah humbuggy. Even though the anaconda... actually, we'll get rid of the anaconda. What do I keep it? What do I keep it for, though? I don't like it in combat. I don't like it with trade. Mining could be okay with it. I've already got a type. I've already got a um, Python for mining, which I prefer over everything else. Beautiful t-shirt and shorts weather. effect. I tempted to boost there, but... Doo -doo -doo. See if the AI will do that weird thing for me. See what the AI does. <laughs> God, those pink bloody blasters are blinding. Oh, the elevator music's kicked in. Don't, 
So this would benefit from two players, um, each using a fighter. Oh, the mug. Efficient weapon. That one's efficient weapon. That's efficient weapon with the mod with the um, ex modified ammo system capable. Ah, oh, okay. Yep, that's that one. We want to keep that one because that does a lot of damage to even MP MP. MP this one gave me an experimental like <laughs> auto loader, which I'll keep. Um, I'm not going to complain about that one. That's pretty good. So we get back out of here. Uh, oh, so I want to have a look at the other hub. The beam laser, which I just modified. I want to have a look. So the mass has gone down. Power draw. Yeah. Damage per second. I don't really know if it was here, how it goes in battle. That's okay. Not much more we can do about that now. Can I go to. Oh, hello, me. Just want to show you my hello, me character. Okay, why are you kids? It's not too bad. Um. See, on my computer, it doesn't really... See how the blackness you get around here? And I don't know if you see it. I, think, I don't know if it's my graphics card or something like that. It just doesn't pick it up all properly. So, I can get one good... good light. I don't mind the tats, even though I'm not a tat person. The hair's okay. I can pretty much do that with my hair, which is pretty much... I like the sunglasses, though. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, good. Oh. Go back to the game. Um, exit out of here. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Go back to engineering. Start with that one, and we want to get up to grade five. We don't want really efficient. What can we play with? High ah, that's one. Ah, damn it. We haven't got any of those, but we're not going to worry about hunting stuff down. We can do one high cap... High cap... We've only got one scan of that. One of those we can do. Um, could go long ranged. Overcharge, what does that power? No, that's just useless. Um, rapid fire, that would just chew the ammo for nothing. Short range, maybe. No, sturdy. Okay. Well, we got none of those. None of a sturdy mount. What does? No, really, nothing. Rapid fire. Damage per second. Rate of fire. Damage. What? The modified jitters increased. No, reload time. We only really got three of those. Overcharge is useless to me. Long range. We can put one long range. But I don't like the massive power draw light. Light. I don't know. Make a light one. Um, high cap. That I would like to have, but I don't have. Uh, ammo clip size is it's useless to me because I want. I've got more of those than anything else, don't I? 
three of those, one of those. What do we got? Four of those. I'm just using up ones to build up the thing we can use. We'll do it long range and we'll just build that up to a grade five. Could have actually make a long range. But that means the but the power draw is gonna be terrible. We'll have a think about it. I really want grade 5 if I can get everything to grade 5. Unless they give me a really, really, really good special effect, but I don't think they will. Actually, how much power draw they're going to affect us? We're up to... That's still pretty good. But I might... I even mean grade 4s could be really deadly have one extra ammo on it and hmm oh, let's have a look overcharge it's useless for this weapon isn't it? why would you overcharge this weapon uh, rapid fire hmm let's keep Keep with long ranged. Lightweight could be a fit. that one I would be like. How many of those are four? Well, I could do one of those and zero of those, but uh, ammo size increases to ninety percent ammo maximum. But I think it gives me one chance of doing that, which is annoying. Now we'll stick to long actually just make them all long range. Yeah we can do one long range. The two there we can do so. But do I want to do long range and have a shorter weapon? Like, oh, that's annoying. I'm probably making it, could make it go back to efficient. Do I make it go back to efficient? Less power draw and all that. And make, but the ammo clip size. Is the question. Or do I just basically make, make grade 4 long range? Well, if it gives me a really good special effect in grade 4, then yeah. There should be one more done for grade 3. Then I might keep them both at that. There's no harm, have it? Cause yeah, but then you're wasting other ammo, though. Long range, kind of like, yeah. You had damage fallout. No, we'll go back to efficient or something. We'll forget the grade 5. We'll get the grade 5. Oh, the weapon cap. The weapon thing. Make a bigger weapon that holds more ammo. Uh, we've got a special effect. Oh, okay. Hello, hello. Um, modify it. Capable of delivering superheated rounds, increasing damage, and covering. Okay, modified ammo system. Capable of del delivering superheated rounds, increasing damage, and covering a large portion of the thermal. Yeah. But it's only grade 3 that will apply it. Only grade three. Oh, not what I wanted. Now we can do grade four, but let's have a look at ninety percent power. Still hasn't really affected that much. Okay. Oh, so in grade three though, we want grade four. Uh, long range grade four. We've got two of those. If I it's going to be annoying if I do it. Not overcharged. So I can give that one a crack. I can only do one of those though. Mm. 
power draws relay time but it doesn't really no nah, it's not really worth it efficient I've got one of those but I don't need that something uh, keep going long range uh, two of those rapid fire got three and then I'll waste up that one. I'll have the short range one. Just waste it. And then I'll switch something else to waste it just in case the power there. We want to. I want to get a grade 5, and I also want the special effect in grade 5, not grade 3 or grade 4, which is annoying. something else. Actually got a great fire short range too, but Keep them all the same, if that makes sense. Like, if I engineer a weapon, two weapons, and the, I want them both grade 5, I don't want them one grade 3, one grade 4, or one grade 5, and one grade 2 type thing. Because you, you know then you're pretty much getting the same amount of power, same amount of oomph in each, each weapon. Oh, it's give me a special effect. Auto reload, I've got to keep that. But we're going to keep going though. Now let's see if I can actually... Ah, we can do grade 5. Okay. Now first of all, let's go to outfitting. See if they've got these two weapons here. If they do, then it's a bonus. I'll keep these weapons and keep the modifications on them. Except I maybe... Where are we? Let's check the modifications out. Was that the one we want? Auto loader. So let's see if we've got a multi cannon here. So that's the one installed. Yes, we'll buy that one and we'll put grade 5 on and store that. So that way they will keep that one because that can, that's a good one to have. You can probably put that onto another ship, or even a smaller ship like you know, the Python or something like that there. And you can then like use that one. This one here, even though it's a grade three, that could be another one we can use unless we go for a grade try to go for a grade five or something like that. Temp no 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 frag oh, no no fragment cutters. Not on this ship. <laughs> Like, if we didn't have one here, we've got... Oh. oh God. You bought... Oh, no. Chat to someone. You bought... Ah, 
sounded like it was. Ah. Hey, look, works work. Yeah. You'll be fine. Hey, then we get back to get to back to playing the link bet later. Fair enough. Now I'm going back to um, engineering my ship again. I've got it's got grade five now, so I'm going to engineer the last two weapons. I had to put them in storage because they gave me some good rolls. Now we've got eight of those. What I might do because uh, that's only going to be grade four. See that. It gives me extra ammo and all that. Uh, I got one roll of it. it. Gives me that. No. Um, I might hang on to that to try something like that. I could keep it. I've got one line, one roll of that, but no. Rapid fire. That don't gives me grade. F no, I'm gonna have to go grade four, grade five on the fission weapons. Keep all of them efficient, uh, which is annoying. I'm pretty much under power. What could be? Yeah. Only gave it just over ninety something, but I think I could reduce something else down in the ship. Uh, so we're pretty much we can do eight. So I'm gonna do four on each. Hopefully, I get the special effect on each one. If I do, that will be a bonus because the, that will compensate the size of them and the lack of ammo. If that works out well, it's going to be a bonus. Oh, come on. Not really worried about thermo load on multi cannons. Bing, stop. No, oh, no, you're supposed to stop on that one. I'll apply that. So I don't mind forcing the other one to do it. So I could probably get more on this one. Uh, if I go more, it gives me five. Depends. It's going to be a, if it's going to be a, a pain in their butt or not. So we've still got seven more of those. So if I even do just maybe two rolls for the other one and force it to do something, or do I um? Hmm. I'll put my time move my head around so much. <sighs> Any comments from anybody in the gallery? Don't really care about the thermo load. It's a damage per second, power draw, and power distributor. It, pretty much these four are the only ones I care about. Everything down the power. Oh, damage per second. Um, yeah, no, I keep about it. Cause the power draw and the power distributor draw into the two key for that one. Okay, I'll apply that. Come on. I want you to give me a special effect. I've still got six more attempts. I'm not going to go hunting stuff, more stuff down there. But after this I'm going back to Joe and I and we're going to go kill some things. Back into Hazrez and we'll test out the multi-cannon damage and we'll just see how efficient this thing can be. And how we can strip their shields like ship the ships like paper people. Just one of even on auto loadable as well would be good, but yeah. I'll mute myself and won't chat anymore for a little bit.
I'm back. Now, please, give me something worthwhile. Give me a special effect I can just apply to it and be happy with it. Could have got one, one more, one, just one more. No, you had to just. I don't want to force a special effect on you. If I do that, that means I drop down two things. I don't mind losing one special effect if I have to. This is really, really annoying me. Because the more special effects you get onto your weapons, the better it is, especially against NPCs. Oh, against other players, but other NPCs too. Can be annoying. Unless I get a really, really good roll, then. And the power draw's not too bad. Increase the power, decrease the power draw. Oh, that's nice. Put that into the blue, we'll be right. Nah. Come on, give me a blue spot. Blue, blue, blue. Blue. No. Yeah. Okay, experimental upgrade that. And cause the strokes to envelop the target and signify amplifying its signature at the cost of increasing heat generation to the attack. Oh, I don't want that. No! Um, and that would actually be good if you were attacking far away to it. Now, we've got. Do I have pressure shot? Yeah, taken hold damage increases. Okay, cost of reduced ammo capability. Uh, okay, do I have incendiary rounds or corrosive rounds? Could be good. See, smart bullets could be good, but that's going to please the... Ah. Okay, um, experimental. Hmm. Sorry, I just... Yeah, that was slightly weird. Um, now, smart rounds... Uh, it was German. Uh, now incendiary rounds or corrosive shells. Ah, this is a hard one. A modified ammo system capable of delivering super rounded heats, increasing damage, covering a large portion of the third to thermal.
I've got already got um I think I've got let's have a look. I have to get out of here to show you what I've got. Multi cannons. That one there we just did the modification for. Yep. Yeah. So we've got corrosive on that one. Um and then no, we didn't get anything on that one. I think it was this one here. It's the only one we've been mo have got modified as well. That got incendiary routes. So I've got corrosive and incendiary routes. So the last one I and the one's got an auto loader on it. Actually, that's one we just did before. Oh, no, great four. I think I've got an auto loader. I don't know. Look. And the last multi cannon, I think, has yeah auto <gasps> auto loader. So that will run out of ammo before anything else. Excuse me. Now back to engineering. And then we go find go to Jonah and find some things to kill. So we want to get rid of the long range. Pretty much useless. Ah, we got one effect there. High cap, we got one. Damn it. Ah, what can we use up? Rapid fire, we got two of those. Let's see if we can just chew up. We've just got to get enough to get back to grade five. I want them all grade five. I want them all even. I want them all to be able to kill things evenly. And the special effects just to be the bonus, the icing on the cake. Don't really want rapid fire because that's just like choose for your ammo. Now, if you had that with an auto loader and a special effect, then you'd be like corrosive damage, auto loader, and it's a bit like that. Then we think, like, oh, that would hurt. Okay, apply that. Okay, 40%. We'll use up the last rapid fire here. Hope that might get to. I've got an efficient one I can use up as well. That get, that might get me to where I want to get to. Just a matter of being patient. I will force just if I have to to do it. Okay, that uses that up. Please get me to grade five. Ah, one more. Okay, so we go that one. And we've got no other ones at grade four. Maybe efficient. So I really want Okay, I'm going to use this one up now. This should get us to grade 5. Don't really want a special effect because if we go to the higher grades, it's going to be null and void anyway. Well, don't want to give you that 1%, I think. Just to two percent of your force up, which is highly annoying. So, just that should give us grade five access. Yay! Now we want to go back to efficient. Grade 5, few cost, don't know why that's generating. We're currently only using 88% of our power. Now the reason why I want, I think out of, out of all, out of all the ones for the multi cannons on this ship, this is the best one for. Thermal load's kind of useless, damage per second's good, damage is good, power draw is fantastic because you power consumption on the ship, and your power distribution draw is better on this ship. Now give me a blue thing. I want a blue thing. One more. 
No, you had to do that, didn't you? Fly that. Yes. Fly that. How many more times we've got to do this? I we still got. Uh, that one. And we have three more attempts at this. Two more attempts, I think. After this one, oh, I'll have a look at it. I might force it. Uh, if it doesn't do anything, this one I'll force it. Ah, you would have to go down. One of the key things I want up is to go on down again. Thermo loader don't care about. Unless you come on. Two more things, that's all you had to do. Two more things. Okay, let's look at one more time. Well, I was looking up here, not there. Oh well. Last one. Then we force it. We've got to force it no matter what. Yep. doesn't give me something good and we have I don't really care about watching it this makes it harder when I want to do anything else in the future I think you have to basically waste credits and if the new one's going to be the, how bad it is then that's going to be terrible stop ah. you rather now We've got. I put Crocif on the other one, didn't I? Yes. But if I keep. Yeah, I might. Two lots of Crocif or oh, incendiary rounds. I'll put another auto loader, thermo shock. Oh, hello, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, focus on the way designed to spread heat efficiently. Strike the shields and hull impact additional heat into the target. Uh, yeah, it's... That's a question. So I've got that one, and I've got that one. I've got an auto loader, don't really really worry about that one because I don't need to worry about cost at the cost of increasing the heat. That increases the additional heat into the target. Good against other players, but maybe in Thargoid, but no good against NPCs. See, if I was doing this one, I'd probably want to increase my heat against Thargoids, but, um... Let's see the rounds. Can they stack? Hold on, I'm going to ask a quick question.
Yeah, we're back. Now ask the next expert and basically this one here. Thermo rounds. I'll apply that. Yay! That's completed. We're going to go back to Joe 9 now and we're going to go kill some things. Okay, so power consumption is 88, which is bugger all. And the jump range really. Well, it's dropped down 1.01%, I think. Like, so little, it's not funny. Um, but now we've got our fully outfitted and engineered Miss Buttercup Type 10. Now, I'm going to fly back to Jonai, as soon as we can find it. Oh, excuse me. Hey, come back here, Jonai. There you are. I might as well. Now yeah, go fly back to Jonai tonight and see how I feel like killing some things. We can get to them and sell all our data. Uh, what? I thought it was 9 jumps for a second, like 8 jumps. How is it 12 jumps coming? Oh, because I had a heavy. That's the fact in my jump range. Oh no, it's time there's 12 jumps going from another place to there. Oh, okay, I'm tired. Now, Little Miss Buttercup is complete. I'll probably, the only thing I have to probably fix up is the. What, the thrusters maybe and I think I've got the thrusters and also the yeah engineer the thrusters up to grade 5 I'm going to hunt down the right stuff for it and also I think the oh, frame shift drive once the frame shift drive is done on grade 5 and Oh, then we're running on grade five. Let's have a look. See. Okay, what do we got? Thrusters. Information. They're grade, f uh, grade, yeah, grade four, dirty. And my frame shift drive. Info. Is grade five. So it's only the thrusters I have to fig figure out to do. But I'm not really worried about that. Could make them grade 5 eventually dirty. To give them a bit more oomph and speed. Hmm. Person comes on team speak then just vanishes. Don't like that, because if you come on a team speak, you want to chat to somebody. If your friends aren't there, don't worry about it. Say hello to the people who are there. You might not know them, you might. Yeah! It's just weird people are oh no sorry, chaos and wolf's not on here, we're going to we can't go and jump onto team speak. Or oh, somebody else is not on here, we can't jump onto team speak. Oh. oh we haven't been here either before. Four place twenty eight. Let's go have it look. Yes. Yep. The thing is though, with the scanners you got on board, I don't like with the modules and the scanners and that you got on board, right? It's actually quite handy to have because if you're hunting after stuff from rocks and that, right? If you go rock hunting. That's the only way to describe it, I call it. Um, you want to have something you scan the system, have a look what's in the system without going to a wire because the, the, the beacons are only temporarily. And then you want to, once you've done that, you find the planet, you go, you find out what's on the planet. And sometimes you might, really, 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 really rare, you might find something that no one else has ever scanned before. Right, 
and you go, oh, no one scanned this plane or, or whatever, and you get your name on it. It could be, in, it could be actually in this uh, <coughs> galaxy, um, and that would be very interesting if you get your name or something like that. You know, what I mean, you might find it, it might be a backwater system. So then you can say, well, I've got my name on that blackwater system. <laughs> um, but then, of course, you come across the planet, so you're after Pacific um, thing for a planet like Tungsten. And you can search for uh, for other moons and all that, but if you've got a, a scanner, you can just go, jump in, honk your nose, have a look at the system, find out what um, planets are landable. You might like a look at one planet, you might want one with rings around it. Yeah, that's just the, the superficial part, but you, you know, you, then you can just scan the planets. Oh, that one's got high level of tungsten on, or that's got crap on it. Or when they introduce, I think the next step, that I think is going to be more handy because you're going to reduce down of how many items you're allowed to have, which I think it kind of sucks. Like at the moment, we're led materials, right? We're led to have a thousand. So I want to reduce it down to a hundred. Why? That they should increase <coughs> this. They should increase up to a thousand. I reckon that should they increase up. They can increase up to two thousand. I mean, it's kind of pointless doing that. That's just like, oh yeah, we're gonna make it so your rolls never fuck up. They're gonna be, the next roll's gonna be just as it's gonna be better than the last roll. But we're gonna fuck you over. Excuse our language here. I'm really annoyed about this one. We're going to basically bend you over because we want to take off you can still having two hundred a oh, thousand materials we're going to give you only a hundred materials so you're pretty much going to go oh, okay what do I want to engineer my ship for okay I need an engineer for this and then I'll go oh can't do those multiple things like I've just did because you don't have a thousand things lying around where they go, oh, okay, we want to do the weapons, so you've got to gather all the inf all the stuff you need for your weapons, fly to your weapon place, do your engineering there, and then you go, okay, what do I want to engineer? I've got my weapons done. I want to engineer thrusters. Then you've got to basically hunt down all the information you need for your thrusters, and then do that. I mean, and then, and then in one way, you're just making everybody having god rolls eventually, because you go. If I roll efficient every single time, and every single time, that can't be worse than the roll was. Uh, you do a hundred rolls on it, eventually that is going to be a super ass, kick ass bloody roll, you know what I mean? You can get the maximum jump range on every single time you roll, with no negative effects, because there's going to be no negative effects. You might as well just take the negative effects out of the bloody game already. Um, <laughs> it's kind of pointless. I'm finding that funny and stupid. At the same time, after I'm talking about the people in a minute, like the manufacturers of this game. I love this game. Don't get me wrong, and I love what they've done to the game. But do going down that pathway, reducing say your materials down to a hundred instead of a thousand, and then having it so your rolls will never be worse than what they were they can only become better is pointless um, it's only care taking to the care bearers um, personally I think they should leave it as it is, the materials, I want to increase the materials and increase the data if I could but let's just increase the data which would be, which would be good because you pretty much do for them you yeah, have a nice nice day at work sir Sorry, so we're just going to work at the moment, so I have to say, um, have a nice day because hey, be positive. That's my motto. Anyway, let's keep them the same. Increase the chances of having a special effect um, or experimental effect on the things. So it doesn't feel like too much of a grind. I haven't been here before. So, as far as I'm concerned, they've really got to affect, they've got to fix that up. Oh, 42. Hmm. So, here you'd look at it and go, there's not much really to land on that's, that might be to your satisfaction. So, you can just ignore that system. Yes, I am a farmer. Even 
even though they want to make this got technically a 10 year lifespan on this game um, I think they still got to, instead of concentrating on that type of thing they should be concentrating on maybe um, landing on planets with atmospheric planets would be awesome having special ships that you could go into the sun and or even on water worlds or gas worlds you can actually go into those with those type of special even a special fighter that you can put in your ship that you can go I want to explore the sun like you go out exploring right and you can have several different fighters in there like not just two but have multiple ones have one that can land on go into the water worlds one that can land on atmospheric worlds one that can go into the gaseous worlds one that can go into the volcanic worlds imagine that be able to land on a volcanic world and drive around on a volcanic world of course we'll be able to drive around on one but um I would want to do that. Uh, excuse my yawning. Uh, but that's what I would like to do. Land on a volcanic world, fly on around one on a small ship. Have one specially designed for that. Or even have your spaceship so it's your space outfit so you can actually walk on these planets. Or, oh, we better fill up the fuel. How many more jumps have we got to go? Three. Yeah, we should be right. Um, for me, I would want to be able to walk on ships. I want to be able to um, walk around bases, um, walk on the space stations. Those, I know it's like that's a they're, they're, that's a long that's like a while off for them. Thargoid hunting and all that. I leave that for other people. I'd like to be friends with the Thargoids. They're our overlords. Now, if I could get a special effect of corrosive damage on all these weapons, that would be better. <laughs> but if, now. Um, yeah. I think I'll leave off uh, Thargoid friends alone. I, I'd love to be able to see the Corona of the Sun or something like that. It'd be awesome. Don't know how they'd do it graphic-wise. Um. Imagine landing on an asteroid that they did in, um, the Empire. When the, oh, so the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, when you land on the or Empire, uh, um, he landed on the uh, asteroid, he landed in the asteroid, and it was a big ass creature there. Imagine having that in this game. I'm kind of a bit far fetched, of course, but. <laughs> Actually, going onto an asteroid and flying through caves. Um, you might not be able to do it with the bigger ships like the Type 10, but imagine getting in a little fighter to design purposely for doing that. That would be awesome. Okay, one more jump, and then we'll go get fuel, and then go kill things. I want to test the fire power of this moon. See, now, with the 88 usage, you could actually probably modify other things. I can have literally so much shield cell banks on here, it's not, shield boost is not funny. But I could actually increase other things on here. Now, we're not going to need that on, so we don't need to change our weapons at all, we don't need a scanner. I could take the scanner out and put my whole reinforcement packages into there, take out the other one and put a whole reinforcement package, but then you have to store it and eh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm lazy when it comes to those sort of things. Now if I was going into a complete war zone I'd probably get rid of the buggy and put something else like whole reinforcement packages into there. Um, and keep an eye on where I am at all times. But I don't want to drop another 25 million on this ship. <laughs> Corey did that once. But I'm happy though with this one. Everything 
you can engineer, I've engineered, that's going to be benefit to the ship itself. Um, fire groups are pretty much, oh, you can do, yep. Fire groups are set. That, not overly worried about. That, 25 point, yeah. Run out of fuel getting a further jump range, but I'm still happy with the jump range on this ship now. For the size of the ship, I'm really in the weight, everything else I'm happy with. I could probably reduce down some of the components of the ship, to say A grade and make them lighter or whatever, or put it lower, I don't know. Don't know if it needs that or not. Jump in here, I need a drink of water and then I get a drink of water so then we can go into conflict zone to kill things. Hello. I'm not pixel video fur. I translate that into English and um I'd be happy. Need a drink of water, and if anybody's around um, here, they wish to wing up together to kill some things, you're more than welcome to. If you're in the private group. If not, now, yeah. join the rules of Jonai. Become a proud wolf member. Fight together and rule the galaxy and control the universe. For our fearless leader. He really doesn't want to lead. <laughs> They're actually a fearless dictator. That's Always makes me drink. Still love them. You know, when, when you look up at these things coming into here, it just looks awesome when you got the right ship. Okay. I have to admit, there's not much drift on this one either. Compared to it, the other, some of the other t other things like the Anaconda, that drifts like foof foof, like nobody's business. I went. Okay, it must have been too high. Oh, okay, hit something. Did I get a fine? No fine. Good. Well, welcome back. It's actually pretty. Let's sell all this off, I, just in case we do accidentally die. If any, anything, anybody else want to have I can't see anything. So. I'll show you the pictures. Yes. No. Nothing worthwhile there. Now, I am going to wander off and go to the <laughs> toilet and then um, get a drink of water. And then we're going to go out into another conflict zone. Resource extraction hazardous. That's it. So we'll be back. Let's mute myself.
message received from civilian Tyler Vanderstall. Message reads, how can I be of assistance? Okay, welcome back. Now, we're going for a... Going for the slash. Got some water. I mean, okay, now. Yeah, let's get straight into killing things. Won't worry about anything else. Everything's all set up and done and dusted. We're fully armoured. Help me. He's holding me hostage. Why is my... the hell? That's my AI. My You're AI. <laughs> oh, there's a commander here. Hello, commander. <laughs> That's what he wrote there. <laughs> Oh, check out this commander. Uh-oh. We're bigger than you. Go away. Get out. Oh, this is going to hurt if I don't do it carefully. Oops, that might help. Give me a fine. Don't want a fine. Hello, Commander. I can't believe he did that to me. Help me. He's it's, he's holding me hostage. <laughs> oh well. If you want to join up, Commander, you're more than welcome to. Let's go. We're gonna go kill some things. Anybody wish to join me, they're more than welcome to come in here. What's this? Uh, line with. Ah, oh, let do this to me. Does any. Bunch of tools. You go right in here. I'll just pour the drinks. Good, thank you, sir. You can pour the drinks. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot about these things. Okay, weapon into the right spot. Actually, let's try three and three. I want to see how that goes with a weapon capacitor. Um, I want to see how much we drain down just for the beam lasers or just for the. See that? See what the way we're exploring. We look up at them. Hello. For Why do I... Okay... Well... Happy New Year to you, sir. And... Are you referring to my... Corsair Gold Power Supply, if that's what you're referring to? Um... I find the course Okay, the more power I find going into the system, uh, the Corsair ones I've actually found it perfect. I've never had a problem with with them in any way, shape or form. And the power consumption compared to say other things is actually less than say 750 power supply. Um, and I know I've got enough power in this system not to worry, I can put anything I want into here and never worry about fluctuation in power if that's what you mean. And I wouldn't call it a potato. 
Corsair is actually very good. My case is a Corsair 500D case. And technically it's designed for water cooling, but I've made it efficiently for air cooling. Now, I did have... I've got to eventually put another... I've got to get a new computer again. Because um, this one, I don't like... This one doesn't like having Windows 10 in it. Like I'll eventually get a Windows 10 and put it, set it all up, a new mouse, keyboard and combination like that and design it for a leak, because I've got to put three, con well, f technically two controllers into it, for the foot pedals, track f track IR, and then also voice attack's got to work with it as well. Anyway, I hope everybody had a great Christmas and New Year's. I know I did. You can see the fireworks on my channel. Um, Plus the lake videos and the, and the ocean videos I do every day. If I can come across some really good shots of animals like the kangaroos and that, I try to get those as well for you. I haven't seen many echidnas around lately. I'm probably going to have to start walking around again. But anyway, this uh, this weekend's going to be fantastic because our weather's going to be bloody hot as all buggery. Do I have to put me... They put me on the dark side. Why can't they put me on the light side? Okay, what do we got over here? I might... I might go into here instead, because it's not hazardous, but... I don't... I want to go into the light. I want to see what the light's like, not the dark part. Wait until that comes into the light, then we can go into there. One thing I do like about this game, it's pretty much... Like that will come to light eventually, and that type, of, those type of things, they all work well. Well, come back. I'm killing things at the moment. I'm gonna go kill things soon, sir. Ah, I have to mute myself on a chat to friend. Um. This makes my drink vibrate when you do that. Your ship has entered normal space. Roger that. Initiating SLS from one other ship. ship. Now, welcome back. Oh, what do we got here? Come on, scan that one. Uh, you can not be. Let's deploy the weapons. Now, if anybody's out here that wish to wish to uh, wing up, by be my guest. Come on, you wanted? Yes. Go, go kill. Ha <laughs> ha. Also, mini my part. Now that's just. Oh, I'm worried about it. The ship's about to go boom. Now, let's go multi guns. And you're dead. Say goodbye. You can say boom boom. Oh yeah. This this thing is a killing machine. Multi cannon on it, just like rip the things apart. Like paper people. That's more than a support ship. When you. Oh, I've got to get, get killed. Fetch. It flies nicely, it handles nicely, I can kill things nicely with it. It's just here before how long it took that thing to get down. It's like, go fetch. Oh, that one's long range. 
<laughs> oh, that's it. Okay, let's get the motor cannons up. Come on. Slow it down. Take it. He did. Bye bye. I like it in this ship. Oh, hello, what do we got here? Imperial Eagle. Imperial Papal People. Come on. Please be wanted, Imperial Eagle. Oh, yeah. We'll get, get rid of his shields for you from a distance. I'm loving this ship. This could be my new fighter for conflict signs. Ah, uh, for this one. Got somebody in there for ah. Who did he say that to? Uh, to oh, I said it to something that look of head. Oh god no. My AI is annoying. Come here, let me get shot on you. Mold again and shots on you. That's it. Bye bye. You go boom boom. Oh, that's so pretty. Yes, Full of bug. Yes. Oh, my. Go away from there. Gee, I'm trying to. Are you wanted or not? He's elite. You're wanted. Go kill. So these are healing beams, so if I had a friend in the wing, I could actually just keep them alive with these healing beams and yeah. <laughs> you got nowhere to go. You go boom boom. That's nice. Oh, hello, you'll be wanted. Don't be running away, Imperial Courier. Let me go attack that one. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah, he's got a lot tougher shields. But once they're down, though... going to be easy. Oh, there we go. Come on. Shields down. Oh, how rude. Get off that. That's it. Awesome. 
this, I'm not gonna get it. Give away shields. <laughs> Still gonna die, you might be <laughs> Oh or dead. Yes, the type ten. This is the type ten war machine. By itself it's, <laughs> it's awesome. I will take this one out. Why does it keep reading messages? AI is a freaking funny thing, isn't it? That's it. Oh, the paper people. I say, you're quite the pilot. Dun 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 dun. Pops a chef. I might have to turn that off, really. Ah, oh, come on. Wow. Bouncing on my hole. Near his bar. Ah, <laughs> oh, Cecil here. <laughs> you put me to the near his bar. Let's go. He's dead. percent left. Ah. Now right. Freddy. Ah. Type 10 is so cool. Now I've fully engineered my Type 10. Um, everything's been fully engineered and the weapons have all been modified as well. <laughs> Fetch. Okay, let's just strip his shells down. And the three beam lasers you see, or a Healy's friend or foe. He's dead. Please blow up. There you go. Are you a fan? Does anyone? I think it's something a bit tougher to fight, but yeah, I'm happy with this killing things. I don't know what do we got here. If you want it, I'm going to kill you. Can we fit between these two asteroids?
bye bye But you can't hide. This is fun killing things. I like flying around these things because they look so peaceful. Small ships, piece of piss if they can't get away from you. <laughs> Killing big ships is going to be fun too, but we've got to find a big ship. But the stuff we've got on here is just awesome. Oh, okay, people are gone. Oh, we've got wanted. We're going to attack that one. Long range weapons kicked in, which is good. Also help that out with the multi cannons. We want to strip this one down so we can get his buddy. Wow, that was quick. For the mug. And we ish. Yeah, run off. I'm not trying to hear you, buddy. You got healing beams on you. I'm off the cannons and I'm trying to heal you. I have to admit, out of all the. I've had. It's handling itself extremely nice. 
mice in here. You friend. Anyone with that, as you can see, I'm in the turning there. I think that would be bad. Go attack that. This ship, all said and done, I like it. Even if you use your heat sink then I could still see you and eventually target you. Right. Because the what you can, can do with this ship is just really. Oh, Thank you. Is something trying to hit me. Oh, this is I want it. I'll go. You go after that one. Ah, Imperial Eagle. It's got to die. Oh, you want it. Yeah, I'll go after you. Just tickle you. took a bad by himself. Uh, I think this is slightly overpowered. <laughs> you can come and take this one too. Like actually, second thoughts, support ship, this could be the kick-ass ship. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I just literally kill things, just tear and through things. This is bloody awesome. I'll play for a little bit longer, then I'll probably call it a night. If we find something odd, something decent to kill. It's a f this must be something decent. Up, oh, okay, what about here? Go fetch. Now let's see how it goes through the asteroid belts. I'm liking this so far. I said, well, I ain't done it now. Head towards it. Hello. Sorry. Concentrate. What the hell are those white things? We don't want you, we'll just kill you. I really want to test this out against another player again. 
with this weapon set up. Interesting, the friendly match going down to the sixty percent hole, but hmm. want a bigger ship to, to, to target against but I think it's just getting his ass handed to it. Dead. <laughs> well, we could try to go to the has res. Hello? What's this? Oh, give us a decent ship I can take on. Oh, scary, scary. Too long to lose ammo. Oh, I got five. Okay. And the wife. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can. How do I do that? Which one's out of ammo? Please be wanted.
Look at he's trying to ram me. Come back here. Oh, okay. Let's go help him out. This <coughs> Type 10 is awesome. I mean, it literally just kills everything so fast it's not funny. I mean, you got six multi cannons and five multi cannons. It just rips the crap out of everything. Okay, we're running out of ammo with the other multi cannon. That's okay, we've still got four multi cannons. enjoying this too much. <laughs> Way too much. I'm enjoying the Type 10. Way too much. You shouldn't be really enjoying this ship this much. Why do a stupid move like that face me? A type 10 and that ship.
weapons rust from. The, I should say the uh, engines rust from, my fault. Okay. Let's see if there's a one to kill back. If it is, I've got to kill it. <laughs> Dive 10 is, once you engineer it, it's a freaking killing machine. I've really got to work on tough opponents though. It's like was fun.
Steam is ours. Missiles. That was cool. Point defenses are useful. That was fun. <laughs> ah, you don't, I haven't got to start the multi codes yet. Oh, he's too far range. That might have been a vulture. Get in my way. Oh, 
go take you along there. Got your attention. Oh, dead. Small ones are going to lose ammo. You could probably put place those with, say, cannons or something else like that. Uh, or mul uh, missile marks. wanted I'll go towards him. Ah. Where'd he go? Ah. Oh, what else is scaring me? Oh hello, I've got to give it a seagull. Are you wanted? Please be wanted. Don't go away. You want it. Paper people. You're dead. Now, where were we? Oh, you're close right. enough now. Oh, you are close enough. That's a smart move. I can still see you though. Bye. For a master, that's pretty smart. Using that tactic. Normally you expect that in higher tactics. From, um... High ones like a hub, or NPCs, like elite NPCs. I say, you're quite the pilot. Okay, get any more people we want to kill? Oh, this one here is elite. I'm going to kill this one if he's wanted, and if not, let's go. Yeah, I'll go kill this one. Fetch. That long range beam laser does really good damage. I like the sound effect. Kinda feels like a dance.
Let's see that. I really, really enjoyed the type 10 killing things in a hazardous. With everything said and done. Okay, where we've got to get back to. Here it is. Going to the that's close to one now, I should have gone to that one, but I'll. That was fun. Really, really, really was fun. I like killing him in Ashton, the, um, Ice belts. That was indeed fun. Now we just made almost two million. Well, probably what an hour or so. Just made two million. Just killing things by ourselves with no help from anybody else. Oh well, I'm going to get some sleepy. I tell you, I have to I'm getting to like this ship. Making it to Explorer would be the next challenge. But I think I might just want to kill things for a while with this ship and see how we go. Whoops. Uh, my headphone. You know that thing that attaches to your headphone that is. Uh, that protects your ears and all that? Mine's decided to come off. And it's like you're sitting there loosely. <sighs> it's sitting there loosely. And every time I knock it, it just like like knock the mic or something like that. It just pretty much knocks off, almost off, knocks off my head. I highly recommend getting the Type 10 and fitting it out with whatever weapons you like. But just for killing purposes, is yeah, three torrented beam lasers or heli weapons, and the rest. Bolty cannons. You can get corrosive shells, I'm told, onto everything. And then. Oh, you know. Yeah, corrosive? What's the one? Yeah. And the other one was. Another one I got here, which is. Um, other one. It, I think it's the corrosive ones. That they're the ones you can find. You can have, if you have all those. Oh, that's what I might do for the rest of the multi cannons, is put corrosive shells on them. I get enough stuff to do grade five, and then just just go. Well, cool, corrosive, 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 corrosive. Okay, let's try the hazards here. Oh, there was a hazards here earlier. And I really got to get uh, weapons. I've got my turbo left. Oh, there is one here. Is that the one there? Let's go there first, before we go back. I've got to kill some more things. I want to find a big ship to kill. Killing small ships is fine. But we've got to kill a big ship. Don't want to try a conflict zone just yet by ourselves, because we think we're going to be get our ass handed to us. We've got a big ash there too. And... We don't really want to go to that pathway. Oh, excuse me. I don't think we're at war with anybody in here, so... Uh, this is beautiful. Type 10. Absolute beautiful. 
Mission wise, I haven't tried it out yet, but I think just for a pure killing machine, it's fantastic. It's good in support, it's also good at being a highly aggressive killing machine by itself. No, I don't. Look for something. Okay, let's have a look at that. He's wanted. Let's go there. Tiny gunship. And I'm not using two. Oh, my weapons, which is going to be annoying, but I want to test this one off on an anaconda in here if we can. Oh, wow. Long range is good. He's got a buddy. Now I'm losing a bit of heat. got plasma balls. Really? It's a war? We're not in a war zone. Oh, I'm running out of ammo of everything now. No, oh, that's okay. We'll get rid of him. Our oh, gunships can have a fighter. Don't worry about anything else. Just want to take this gunship out of action. And Damn, this gunship's tough. Oh, shit. We need those shields back up. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Another assault ship. Where are you? Test it out on an assault ship. Test it out on a gun. Well, how much ammo do I have left on this thing? Three guns. Ah. We'll take it out. Timmy. He ran into me, the bagger. Running out of weapon power. Oh, we need more. Multi guns. Ah, oh, that's it. Multi cannons are pretty much screwed up. I'm going to have to recharge. Oh, dead. Got any more multi cannons left? That's it. Beautiful. Now, I'm just 
just gonna leave here because we pretty much need to get reloaded. <laughs> But other than that, this is a fantastic little plaything. Whoops. Hey, out. No. I didn't drift that much. I'm out of ammo anyway. Ah. Uh, not worried. How much actually damage have I got done to it? Yeah, I can't put up with that. <laughs> See, I'm only using 88% power there, and I still got 25 jump range out of it. And you see, it does, even with one, one or two multi cannons, it still tears it. still can hold its own. Let's go back to, to Prairie and reload and see how much money we made. Okay, if you go into an easy one, it tears. The other one's like paper people. A bit harder in the has res, but we'll test it out again tomorrow night. Just purely in the has res. We're not going to try a war zone unless I get it, um, other people working with me. But other than that, I'm not complaining. Almost two million in credits. Huh. This ship is awesome to play around with, and just if you want to go to a normal has res, a higher has res, buy yourself three pips into system, three pips into weapons, and a fighter pilot. After you engineer it, everything, this ship just <coughs> kicks ass. That's the only way I'm going to describe it. I love it. Now, Warzone is a different matter on that one. That's going to be... That is totally different matter. I don't think this will handle Warzone by itself too well. Unless it's surrounded by green things. So, I'm going to call this quits tonight because I want to get some sleep. But tomorrow, I'm going to be going into a war zone. If any players wish to team up with me, more than welcome to. Drift, line her up. It doesn't drift as much as, say, the Anaconda or even the Type 9, which is really good. But tomorrow night, though, I plan to just take this out to Hez Res and see what we can do. That was awesome. Now, <laughs> when I say you really want to engineer this ship, and once you engineered it and you got the weapons and everything you want on it, you can pretty much own anything. I'm not quite sure about conflict zone, so, um, war zones, that's the only thing on the question mark. There we go, almost 2 million. Probably won't wait an hour or so, play, playing around. There we go. Almost back up to three million, 300 million. Anyway, my name is King Admiral Commander Black Star Lord, Triple Lead at your service, signing off. 
Thank you again for watching uh, this little humble live streaming of the Type 10, outfitting the Type 10, and also um, engineering the Type 10 and killing things. You all have a great day now, and all comments are welcome.